Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a really special race for you. We have got a three versus one, Cademan Cycling, Eric Barfell, me versus the one and only Jake Sanderson from Snowman Cycling. I'm really looking forward to this race. We've got myself who's a B rider, we've got Eric who's a B rider, and Cademan who's a B slash C rider, officially on Swift Power, he is a C. But uh, we are going around the hilly route. So we're doing a custom finish. We're finishing actually at the top of the Zwift KOM, which should be very, very interesting the second time round. So I hope you enjoy. Let's see if three is better than one. Okay, here we are at the start of the race then. Just want to point out before we get into it really that uh, Jake and I are in fact different people, um, although we may look similar. So just to clarify that one, um, and that includes my wife, who also for some reason Every time I'm watching Jake, thinks it's me. Uh, so just to clarify that one. Anyway, here we go. Um, we have just set off um, and we didn't really have any set tactics. It's not like the three of us, Eric and Cademan have sort of ridden together before ever. So this is uh, a first for us. And uh, Eric did kind of say, Ollie, why don't you uh, start by leading us out. So I thought I'll get on the front initially and um, and do an early pull. Now, Jake is lighter uh, than all of us and he is uh, he's way more powerful uh, than all of us. So he is gonna make some time up on the uh, Zwift KOM, which we're just coming, coming towards. So I thought it'd be a good idea to set kind of like, um, you know, quite a fast pace up the Zwift KOM, which we're just about to get to. So 52 seconds in, 53 seconds in. Jake is about ready to set off. So that's the minute. So Jake is now go as well. So as you can see, I'm just trying to set um, a reasonable tempo um, up the KOM. I don't want to go crazy. Now, something that actually really, really helped. I did this route um, yesterday as a, as a zone two, as Eric's now leading the way. Did this as a zone two. And it really helped with the, the sort of tactics in my head because I knew what I could push out in terms of what's up this climb and still have enough to get round and then back up the second time as I kind of take over again. So yeah, I'm trying to push sort of four and a half watts, um, not not sort of surging and just a really steady tempo up, up this climb because I knew after we get to the top, I'll have a bit of time to uh, rest. Now that's where Jake should make up quite a bit of time. And as you can see, he's 47 seconds. So he has made up a little bit of time, but I'm hoping that by the time we we sort of get down this decline, we would have made up a little bit on him because as you know, on Zwift, when there's, uh, when there's more than one person and you've got a little group, uh, you do tend to sort of make up a little bit of time. So at this point, I'm just having a little bit of recovery um, as the other guys are super tucking. Just thought of um, tease Jake a little bit, saying that he's struggling. He obviously wasn't gonna be you know, struggling too bad at all, but in my head, I'm thinking we need to get to the bottom of the climb on lap two with about 30 seconds. Um, if we do that and we have a pretty steady um, climb again up the Zwift KOM, we should be okay. But it's just a case of keeping it all together. The longer the three of us can stay together, the better. And as you can see, we're, we're doing a pretty good job. You know, we're, we're kind of, you know, leading each other out. Um, I'm trying to stay on the front as much as I can, just trying to keep the power up as much as I can. Um, but we all take turns, which was really good. As we come to the S's, um, Cademan does a great job here, drops a little feather. I just sit behind him, trying to hold on for as long as I can to his wheel here. Um, I know he's giving it everything. And then Eric comes through, which is great. At this point, though, I'm kind of thinking I might need to save a little bit of energy for the final climb. Um, and I'm going to have to sit in at some point soon because uh, I have been on the front for a little bit. But as a team, I kind of feel like we've worked really, really well together. You know, Jake is still four, 42 seconds and we're coming up to the end of the lap here. Um, so all in all, we've we've done a great job. So Jake is 36 seconds behind us now. And it's a sort of touch and go. You know, I know Jake is going to pull out a significant amount of time up the KOM again. So I'm just sitting in behind um, behind Eric here. Also did a great job, uh, just trying to to do my best to uh, to recover before before the final push as such. 
and I kind of let, I let this play all the way through now. It's just a really, really interesting uh, segment. As you can see, sort of Cademan is leading us out. You're doing a great job. And I just really need to, to save as much energy because I know that there's going to be a bit of pain coming up. Um, now, yesterday when I did the, uh, the route, I kind of, I, I did a personal best, I think, minute. Um, but already going around this once before, you know, I know I was going to be nowhere near that. But I have to admit, the rocker plate really helped me with this. It's, um, it's quite interesting. And I'm going to do a new video on that soon. Um, how the rocker plate has actually helped me sort of up these kind of climbs. You can kind of, the fore and aft motion is really, really useful. So Jake is now pretty much uh, 29 seconds behind. So it's going to be really touch and go as to whether we, we manage to do this or not. And I know he is coming fast. He is not going to want to lose. Here we go. So Caveman at this point is... Uh, is pretty much toast and he'd already done super to hang on to, to both Eric and I as we are you know slightly higher category than him um, at the moment but Caveman is an excellent wifter I'm sure you've seen his YouTube videos and Eric is just hold on on here but I'm just kind of doing a little bit more than I did last time round but I know if I can kind of hold around the 400 at this point should be okay to then hold 300 the next ramp up so yeah I'm quite a lot of pain at this point 176 heart rate is is not my maximum but it's getting there and Jake 14 seconds behind now I've got a little gap to Eric but I'm just kind of thinking I need to push on as hard as I can because Jake is fast incoming so still pushing out 300 watts at this point, which is good. Um, I know I've got my feather. Pretty sure I'm going to drop that in just a second, just to give me that little bit of extra boost. There we go. And the final push. So Jake is just about to come past Caveman. But it's touch and go at this point. And I'm in a world of pain. This is really hurting me. And as you can probably see the, uh, on the trainer, um, I'm just kind of doing my best to keep the tempo as natural as possible. And Eric's given me the, uh, the sign that means go pretty much. Jake is 13 seconds behind now, but I can see the finish line. And in my head at this point, I'm pretty sure that we've got him. We just need to keep going over. The last few feet left. And I'm already planning my celebration. Here we are. And in true Jake Sanderson style, I give it the beans. And at this point, happy, great team effort. Three was better than one on this occasion. Massive thanks to Jake, Cademan and Eric. Go and check out their channels. Go and subscribe to them. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a like or a subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.